Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, I just want to address some things because I am not happy in the situation that's happening right now. So, I guess ever since I left the last relationship I was in, it's just been full-on harassment and stalking me on social media. Fast forward to now where I thought everything would have been done with, right? No. Apparently my ex is now contacting me through TikTok, which is so fucking stupid. Like, I cut you off for a reason. I broke up with you for a reason. Like... I should have saw the signs early on in that relationship. What did I do? I ignored all the signs. But once I left, I knew there were so many red flags. He was a fucking user. And I'm going to call for being a user? No. I am 100% not a fucking user. I have never used a guy for money or for love. So stop making assumptions about me and get to know the real me. Like, none of this happened with me when I first started dating. Like, I first started dating when I was 14. I dated my best friend for two and a half years. That relationship did not work right because we were not allowed to date. Plus, this happened during high school. So fast forward after that, I left doing real online, real in-person relationships and I moved over to online thinking I would be more safe that way. Boy, was I wrong. I'm just covering a logo because it's my work shirt I'm wearing because I have work in an hour. So I'm just trying to cover as much as I could because... I don't know if I'm gonna still be there. So let's see. Let's see if I can do this without you know what? Let's see if I can pull it out of the camera. Alright. I kinda pulled it out of the camera. But I went and did online once I start I turned sixteen, I think. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen maybe. And I did have a lot of red flag ones. Especially one that I knew from school. And that one was not good because I was living with my aunt at the time. And I'm glad I did not go out with him because it was so bad. Like, bad experience. Like, if you haven't seen these types of videos on my channel... Go ahead and look. It's like this is going to be a life update part three of the relationships. So, I don't have no water here, so bear with me if I take a breather. But, there's one relationship I had that lasted for almost eight years. This was an online relationship. Which did not occur to be a long... I thought it was going to be a long-term one. No. Boy, was I so fucking wrong. I met him through Pandora. Like, how the fuck do you meet someone through Pandora and talk to someone that way? So, that's how we met. I met through... I met him through his friend. And we were talking and stuff, and then we started dating, and there were so many red flags. Like, I asked him if he could come visit me from Maryland to California. He wanted to do it. Who had to go out there from California to Maryland? Me. Mind you, I was working at the time. I did not have enough funds to be traveling across the country to see this person. 
I went out of my way three times from California to Maryland. Mind you, his family was so not welcoming. I'm, I'm done. I'm airing it out. Like this, I've been holding this in. And I need to turn my shirt inside out so, because, so hold on. this situation Fuck, I'm tired. It's okay. so his family was so not welcoming at all every time I would come up wanted to come up and visit I couldn't go to the house like are you fucking kidding me I'm dating your son and you won't let me stay at your house for a week or a couple of days like come on like that's bullshit like that's a major red flag like your son is dating this girl across the country and you won't let them stay at your house all because it's messy? Like, if you're going to have guests coming over, you should have your house fucking clean and ready for guests to come over. Because I was the guest. I was coming over. No, where did I go? To a fucking hotel and I had to stay there with my aunt because she was so willingly helping. But yeah, she met the family. And my whole family did not like him. And I knew why. Because he said he would buy me shit. Boy, no. He said he bought me makeup from Sephora. Nope. Never received it. And then... When I was out there last, I know he did buy me stuff. I did use it, but I did get rid of it in 2021. Like, there's still some content on my YouTube channel with the shit he bought. Like, there were some candles in there, I think. And I know there was a palette or two. There was, like, three palettes he bought. I literally don't have those palettes anymore. Like, you don't see me with ColourPop. Like, it just irks me that I had to do this video today. So, ever since we got our kitten over a month ago, I've been getting called an animal abuser. I have never put my hands on my dog and tried to break a bone. I never did that. Like, I'll spank him a few times if he doesn't listen. But am I abusing the dog? No. I'm just trying to get the dog to listen. Like, I took care of this dog. I basically fed this dog. I gave this dog baths. And, like, I took care of all my animals at my uncle's house. And then... Now, you're calling me an animal abuser? Like, I have not abused my cat. She's only four months old. All I'm doing with her is just playing with her, giving her love, giving her food. That's what I'm doing. Like, yeah, I know I said I was not going to post more shit, but I am because I'm frustrated. So, like, the last TikToks I posted were of my cat. All she's, all the pictures I posted is her sleeping next to me in my bed and playing in the living room. That's all she's been doing. All she's been doing, guys. And then you're going to call me a fucking user? Do you need a definition of what a user is? I'll pull it up right now. Because there's so many... Let me see. I'm pulling it up as we're filming. Guys, ignore my fucking flyaways. I need to tame my hair. 
What is a user in a long distance relationship? What is a user in a long distance relationship? Okay, we're waiting for it to load, guys, because you ready? Because I'm exploiting him the fuck out. And I'm turning the comments off on this video. So I don't get no comments today. But I'll get my views. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, you stupid laptop. <sighs> Any caffeine? I have not dyed my hair since April and all the roots are coming in. I'm trying to let my hair go natural again. We'll see if it does. Cause this is crazy. Yeah. You can still see some color from, you can still see the red, but you can see a lot of it fading. I did not like Sally's box tie, but they, I'm not going to buy Sally products again for my hair. what happened this really show it was a lack of commitment trust and communication issues we had so many fights like i'll be up all night crying i remember because i was up all night crying like he was not there for me during the time when i was mourning the loss of my mother would not allow me to go hang out with my friends. He would not allow me to be with my family. Like, hello. That's manipulative and controlling. Like, he was neglecting quality time. There was a lot of cheating on his side he is accusing me of cheating boy no like yeah i only cheated once or twice on you but you cheated on me with our friend you cheated on me with a girl in person that lives near you um there's a lack of intimacy There's a lot of hesitation to introduce each other to our friends and family. There's like a little, little engagement on social media. Like I posted a lot, but him? Nope. So I knew that something was wrong. I knew near the end of the year of the last year like yeah like i know you're too focused on your job but you're not focusing on us because like i did lose so much trust in him after everything happened i felt so stuck like i 
feel like I was not able to escape. And, you know, I was like, you know what? Fuck this. What did I do? I dumped his ass right before his birthday. Yeah, like, I know I got dumped before my, on my birthday. Because I did. <laughs> so, like, hello. Like, I dealt with so many users. Like, there was one user, I, and I worked with him. I lucky. He used me. And I thought we had something going on. But no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I knew there was so much shading in this one. So, yeah. Let's go to now if I can clear this thing. Oh, I don't want to do it again. So as of now, since I've been with my current man for a year and two months, as of this Thursday, I feel like this relationship has been so much better. I'm much happier. I don't feel stuck like I used to. Like, me and the one I'm with, you see him in my videos, you see him on my YouTube channel, you see him on my Facebook, you see him on my TikTok. Me and him, we have been nothing but perfect. Like, yeah, like, there was like a little few fights, but not, like, not fights, but like little arguments. Like, that's all we needed. Little arguments. Not physical fucking fights. Over the phone. So, yeah. So, ever since I left the guy from work, well, ever since that guy from work left me on my birthday last year, I was talking to a couple of my old friends who wanted to date me, and we were supposed to, and we were supposed to meet up. Didn't happen. I canceled. I said, like, you know what? You're not worth my time. You're lacking communication with me yet again. So, ever since my best friend set me up with this guy I'm with, it's been nothing but perfection. Yeah, I'm kind of getting to work on communication with me, but everything's been perfect. Like, I'm getting everything I wanted. Like, I got what I wanted. Like, I got my house now. I moved out of my family's house. I was living with my aunt and uncle since I was 16. I just moved out after I turned 27. Y'all, I was so happy when I saw that day. I was like, you know what, fuck this, I'm moving the fuck out. I feel like this relationship I'm in was meant to be. Because when I met him, Everything was perfect. He would bring me over to his house. I met the mom. I met the brother. I met the crazy brother. I met his sister. I met the nieces and nephews. Like this one felt more good, to be honest. And uh, I brought him over to meet mine. And everything went perfect. So this one felt like, yeah, this is a real thing. Like, look where we are now. Like, we're not in California anymore, guys. We're in fucking Michigan. Like, we left California April 26th. And we've been here since April 27th. It's now September 17th. We've been here since April. It's now September. We've been here for five months already. But in our apartment for two months, which is crazy. We know we have a cat, we have a house to live in. Like, it just feels surreal. 
I'm so used to him being gone at work during the daytime. I was not used to him being at work at nighttime, but I'm glad he's no longer at Taco Bell. And he's at his main job right now, which I love. And now I go to work. I don't have time to be on YouTube now because I got to get ready and go. I thought I would. I don't. Because I was going to play a card game and shit because I'm trying to charge my phone before I go. So I don't want to leave till like 2-ish. Like between like 2 and 2.15. So I don't start till 3. Why did I just do that? I was supposed to leave it all for him. Fuck. It's okay. At least I have my computer on the bed for me because I get to watch Dancing with the Stars. I'm excited for dancing tonight. I have two team bachelorette, bachelor and bachelorettes tonight. I have Whitney back, so I'm excited. Oh my god, this is going to be a good season. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm not, like, it's stupid. Like, the last one kept judging me on what I would watch. Like, dude, leave me the fuck alone. So, yeah, if my harassment people are coming from TikTok to here, fuck off. Leave me alone. Stop making assumptions. And, yeah, back the fuck off. Like, yeah, I know I'm an hour away to go travel to Maryland if I really wanted to. But I don't think I'm going to make that happen. Because I do not want to go there. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end this video because I need to get ready. And I guess I'll see you guys with some videos this week. But yeah, in the meantime, bye guys.